All right, man, let's talk about Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, apparently, obviously, Devin did an interview with uh, Ryan, uh, Andre Ward. And as of right now, he basically said that if they do a rematch, it has to be on his terms. All right. He said Haney on Ryan Garcia rematch has got to be on my terms. Um, he said if it was right here, right here if he was right here, I had to get it back right now. I try to do it fair. I try to do it fairly. You messed up. Um, I did everything right. All my tests came back clean. Everything, everything's got to be right. Everything's got to be on my terms. Said Devin Haney to all the smoke, a fight channel when asked about the rematch of Ryan Garcia. My thing is, how you know everything right walking into that ring when a drug test take a take a while to get there? That's the problem with it. How you know everything right? Like I said before, you know. I told y'all everything that's you know cool is goofy now. Um, you know, everything is cool is goofy. You know, and everything that's good that's goofy is cool now. You know, you know, uh, and like I said before, doing it all right, they don't, they don't really care, man. This generation is just all backwards. And the best, the messed up thing about it is a lot of these young guys, bro, a lot of these young guys, man, for real, um, a lot of these older people, they fall into the young trap. They dressing like the young people. They believe in what they believe. They justifying this goofy ass shit that these young people doing out here and all that. They justifying the goofy shit. You know, it don't it don't matter if you do it the right way no more. It don't matter if you make a living scamming. People glorify that. It don't matter if you make a living cheat cheating people. It don't matter. It don't matter no more, you know, but at the end of the day, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Don't forget it. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. So, uh, but, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, that's up to him. I already told you what I'd do. I'd hire people to jump him every time he came out in public. For real talk. I'd hire people to, you know, every time he came out in public, I'd have people, I'd have people jumping his ass. Mama, daddy, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can file a police report all you want to. You know, I do diabolical shit. Real talk. But like I like I continue to say about the situations, man. Uh, I mean, that's up to him if he want to rematch them. That's really up to him. But me personally. You know, fuck everything being right. Who do you tell him on paid in full? Go find that man. <laughs> Don't come back here till you go find that man. You dead in Harlem till you find that man. That's the type of time I'd be on. But like I said before, every time this brother, you know, uh, the brother do something, it's a problem. Devin Haney. If you want the rebounds, oh man, yeah, you know, they try to shame him and shit like that. But what he gotta understand, man, he one of the chosen ones. He one of the chosen ones by God. And when you chosen and you a solid dude, you're a good dude, you take care of your people, you do things that's right, people gonna be envious of that. People gonna be envious, be envious of your character because they can never have that character. They're gonna be envious of your story because they can never have that story. 
they gonna they gonna be jealous and envious of everything you do. And nobody hate like black people, dude. Nobody hate like black people. And I always tell y'all that. And what they don't really be telling y'all, they always tell y'all shit like, well, um, black women, you know, welfare, you know, was the reason black women stopped messing with black dudes like that and all that shit. And they selling y'all that bullshit, man. But in reality, but in reality, that's not what happened. A lot of them, uh, the majority of black women sold us out straight out of bondage. So when Master used to sneak in them and used to sneak in them them headquarters, you know what I'm saying? When Master used to sneak in them headquarters, right? They liked that shit. And that, that's that and real quick, and that's just hypergamy, bro. What was it the story about when the Romans, when the Romans, um when when the when the Romans uh took somebody women i forget who women the romans took and uh they got all the men in the tribe to go get the women okay so they they built up their armies to go get their women back when they went to go fight the romans to get their women back the women didn't want to go they was happy with the roman men you know they had babies with them families with them and they told them they wanted to stay over there they seen the, the Roman men as the more dominant, the more dominant men. Get a kick about that. They seen them as the more dominant men. That's that's kind of who women are. You got to think about that for a minute. A lot of these dudes have become feminine. So whoever the popular, whatever, a lot of these promotional companies put a lot of these fake accounts, these fake bots out here. You know, and then a lot of these content creators or a lot of these 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 fans and, tw you know, and tweeters and all that shit, and Facebookers and Instagram guys, what they do is, you know, they dig they dig suckers. They wasn't popular in high school. They ain't had no motion. So now on social media, they deemed this cool. They deemed this cool now. So now they feel cool just jumping on an opinion that they don't necessarily agree with. They don't necessarily agree with. But it's cool. So they just going, you know, do oh, it's, it's popular and oh, you know, I get a lot of clicks and I get a lot of love and people love me when I when I say dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? So now they feel like they popular. Now they feel like they with the alphas or they with the stronger group. A lot of you got to think about this. A lot of this mindset, a lot of these mindsets that that black that 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 a lot of these these guys, you know, so you know, just a lot of these the males are are especially in the boss community as we talk about in particular. A lot of these dudes' mindsets, bro, for real. A lot of these dudes' mindsets for real. Is 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 feminine? A lot of these dudes' mindset is feminine, bro. Men are logical. We don't just hop on the first, the most popular train, or the or or the train with the most people. We we thinkers. We're thinkers. We're logical. We gonna weigh our options out. We gonna do the math, or we gonna try to figure out the formula or whatever. That's who we are. You know, so that's who we are. You know, that's who we are. But no, now these dudes think like women. I'm gonna go with the popular opinion so I can be popular and everybody like me and all that shit. These niggas is women, bro. Y'all be wondering why, you know, you hang with it with certain people or whatever, and, you know, certain uh, dudes and they move like they knew they move like women. They try to backdoor you for your girl. That's that's what women do. Women backdoor each other for each other's uh for their uh, for each other's boyfriends and husbands. You see it all the time. Even without the visibility of the Internet, 
you see you seen it all the time you know now garcia comes back say no rematch live with the nightmare see that's just what he want to do anything for 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 ryan anything for clicks i would have been had his ass whooped you know this is me personally some people just deserve to die and i just think people need to say need to say that enough I think some I think that we need to popularize that some people deserve to die. And and I know we fake this whoever you believe in, God, Buddha, Allah, uh spiritual, or you know, you gotta believe in something. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas can't dress, bro. Not Andre, but Jesus Christ, man. Why would you have all red on and then with some black ASICs? Like, I don't be understanding the color scheme. Around these young niggas dressing, bro. I don't understand it. Like they just don't have any sense of fashion. Sorry, had to say that. But no rematch. Live with the left hook nightmare. I wouldn't have to live with shit, dude. I would have been pay somebody to beat the fuck out of Ryan Garcia. Real talk. But some people just deserve to die, bro. Real talk. The world would be better without some people. You need some goods. You need some bad. You need some ugly. You need all the good balance. Too much good. You ever seen that movie? Uh, you ever seen that movie with uh, with uh, Pleasantville? When everything was so good and fine, and it was just too fucking perfect. It wasn't no fun. So you need some good, bad, ugly. You need good women. You need some hoes. You know what I'm saying? You need anything in between that. But that's Ryan Garcia trying to get clicks. Like I said before, everything is goofy. Everything has become goofy, so there ain't too much you can do about it. Um, you pray on it, you know, um, whatever you choose to do. But a lot of these names is just goofy. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description, the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash at Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.